For most Hindus in India, even touching a dead body is taboo. That task is reserved for the untouchables, charged with disposing of bodily remains. Yet there is one group notorious for breaking just about every taboo connected with the dead, and a great many others besides. They're a small Hindu sect called the Aghoris, and they do it all in the name of God. The Aghoris worship the god Shiva in cremation grounds along the Ganges River, using human bones and skulls in their rituals. Why would a religious sect perform such bizarre rituals? The Aghoris believe that the notions of pure and impure are false, that they exist only in the mind. So their path to enlightenment is to embrace the impure. For us, filth is comparable to a flower. We do not see any difference in the filth and the flower. Needless to say, the Aghori spiritual path is not an easy one. As their ritual practices begin, Jamogi Baba, the guru, sets the pace in consuming huge amounts of marijuana and alcohol. I do this, bring out the strength inside me. If you digest all evil, you have no fear. Some might reject these practices as hedonistic, but to the Aghoris, they have a higher purpose. In order to celebrate Shav Puja, one of their most important rituals, the Aghoris must find a corpse. Not an easy task in a country where most bodies are cremated. But as India's holiest river, the Ganges is a good place to look. People who can't afford cremation often settle for burial in the river itself. The ritual takes place in the cremation grounds, called a Smashan, on a remote shore of the Ganges. The Smashan is called the City of Silence, a city because it is filled with spirits. The Aghoris hope to awaken them with their ritual. Before beginning their puja, the Aghoris draw a sacred circle around themselves to prevent evil spirits from interfering. They rub themselves with human ashes from cremation pyres. Many pujas involve a sacrifice. Most Hindus wouldn't even use animals, but a human corpse is believed to be especially pleasing to the goddess of the Smashan. Ram Shankar is entrusted with handling the body. You love them when they are alive, you should love them when they are dead. The ritual act centers on severing the head, the body's seat of energy to the Aghoris. By harnessing that energy, they believe they come closer to the gods. Some Ghoris are even reputed to eat human flesh. The offering is over quickly, yet the ritual continues far into the night. Finally exhausted, the Aghoris stumble into the Ganges for a purifying bath. Though the lights of the city beckon, they are in a world of their own, and tomorrow, it all begins again.